For some weird reason, YouTube keeps showing me clips of homeless people being given money to do X, Y, and Z. And I've always thought that those videos are very dehumanizing, disrespectful, and also immoral. And I just want to share with you this opinion to see if I'm the only one who actually thinks this way. But today, I saw a clip that actually broke me. And I just want to share with you this clip. And then I will explain to you why this is not only immoral, but it's also incredibly dangerous. If you can answer one question for me, I'll give you 500 bucks. $500? What's the question? What's your biggest regret in life? About 30 years ago, me and a young lady had a son together, but we couldn't afford it. So we had to give it to the couple for adoption. I don't know if he has children or if I have grandchildren. I don't know where he's at. I hope the fourth family that I gave him to took very good care of him. I'm a terrible father. I'm a terrible father. God, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We all make mistakes, man. I'm sorry. At least you didn't abandon him. You gave him to a family that would take care of him. You burdened me a long time. And I'm glad I met you. As promised. Wow. This is really for me? Yes. Listen, man. I'm going to find my son. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you too, brother. I hope this is fake. But if it isn't, this is a very dangerous situation because you went to this man and you asked him to tell you his biggest trauma in life, his biggest regret. And the man is clearly having a nervous breakdown and he's conflicted because on the other hand he's happy that he's going to get some money but he told you his biggest regret and you can see he's having a nervous breakdown calling to God and shaking those bars and things. Now, after that, you gave him 500 bucks and then you left. You didn't call any medical professional to come and check up on him. And I don't know if this man has substance abuse issues, but if he does, what will he do? Because now he's confronted with the biggest trauma in his life and you've resurfaced it. Maybe he haven't thought about it for a while. Maybe he has suppressed it, but now you brought it up and the man is going through those emotions all over again and he's told you that this is something that has burdened him for a long time and now you gave him 500 bucks and this is in america so he doesn't have access to any medical doctors or anything like that he doesn't have a therapist so if he goes out that night and he drinks himself to death which i hope didn't happen but there's a clear risk of that is it really worth it to bring up people's trauma for views on YouTube. And on top of that, this is exploitation. All these people going to these homeless people, they're giving them pennies because at the end of the day, this video had millions of views. So you're making thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars on that clip and you paid him $500. He is the star of the show. We don't even see you. We don't know who you are and we don't care. So why don't you give him 10% at least, like Joe Biden and stuff or something? Because he clearly deserves it. You are exploiting his trauma to make yourself money. And then we have videos of people going to homeless people and giving them money, buying them groceries, taking them to McDonald's, acting as if they are good people while they are recording and making money of those homeless people. And then all these clips of asking the homeless person for help and then they're shocked when the homeless people helps them. As if all the homeless people are bad people or something like that. I don't know what these videos are even supposed to prove. When I go through the comments, they're all like, oh, it's a great thing you did. Or it's an amazing video. It's good to see. It's all positive. So I'm like, maybe I'm the only one who thinks that this is wrong. And actually, as a Muslim, I believe that this is haram. Like, you cannot make charity into social media event. If you want to give in charity, if you want to help a homeless person, that is an admirable thing to do. That's something that you should do. Help the poor, the needy. But you should do it in a way that doesn't compromise your action. Because are you doing it to help them? Or are you doing it to get views? And if you're doing these things to get views, then your charity is worthless. Like from a moral standpoint, of course, the homeless person will be thankful and things like that. 
but you are doing a moral act for immoral reasons. And that's why it's null and void. But this is one of those things that sometimes confuses me about this modern world. Sometimes I think maybe I'm a crazy person. So I'd like to hear what you actually think. 